Here you are given this magnetically coupled circuit. First question is to find mutual inductance for K0.2. Second one is to write the mesh equations for each loop. And the third one is to write the equation for this Vx. Okay, the first question is to find mutual inductance. So this is M given by this formula, K L1 and L2. This L1, L and L2 represent by this J2 and J6. After you calculate it, you get this J0.69 ohms for this M. For the next question, I will replace M here. Okay, the second question is to write mesh equations. Before you start, you must understand about mesh. Mesh is related with KVL. KVL is Kirchhoff voltage law, so here is voltage. So voltage relates with basic law, Ohm's law, V equals to IZ. So means that in your equation, you must have this IZ that represent voltage. Okay, for mesh, first we must assign the loop. So here is loop I1 and this is loop I2. As I said before, for mesh equations, you must have voltage. Let's say here is VA and this is VB. So for KVL in this loop I1, the voltage source here will be equals to VA plus VX plus VB. Okay, let's write the equations. First, I will show you method 1. Okay, for loop I1, let's start from this source. This is negative 10 angle 0 plus VA plus VX then plus VB. For these voltages, we write in terms of IZ. Okay, for VA, it is 5I1. So here is 5I1 for VA. Okay, for VX, the voltage across here is because of its own IZ and also IZ from its couple because J2 coupled with this J6. The voltage because of its own IZ is J2 I1 and for couple, we must look at its couple at J6. The current flowing through this J6 is I1 and I2. Since I2 is opposite direction from this I1, so I1 minus I2, not I2 minus I1. Why? Because we at loop I1, so we consider I1 is always positive. Okay, for impedance couple between this J2 and J6, we use this M. So IZ for couple is M times I1 minus I2. And now how to determine this sign, either this is positive or negative? You must look at the dotted at this J2 and J6. At this J2, I1 is entering dotted. So here is positive. At J6, I1 also entering dotted. So here is positive. So positive and positive, you got positive. So why we didn't refer I2 at this J6? Because we are at loop I1, so we just refer I1 here. And I2 we already assigned here. So this is the voltage for Vx. Okay, for voltage Vb, you must look at the voltage across here and also the couple. The voltage across here is J6 I1 minus I2. For couple, you must look at the J2. The current flowing through this J2 is I1, so M I1. To determine either this is positive or negative, you must look at the dotted at this J2 and J6. At this J2, the current entering this dotted. And at J6 also, the current I1 entering the dotted. So positive and positive here, so you get this positive. So here is the voltage for VB. So here is the complete equation for loop I1. Okay, for loop I2, here is VC plus VD plus VB equals to 0. And be careful for VB, it has the couple between J6 and J2. Okay, for VC, it is 4I2 plus VD is minus J4I2. And plus VB, for VB it has two parts. First is here is current I2 and I1. And because of couple here is because current I1. For current here, it is J6 I2 minus I1. Why I2 minus I1? Because you are now in loop I2. So for couple, here is J2 
the current flowing through this J2 is I1. So means that for couple is M because of current I1. And now let's determine the sign. Here you must refer I2 and here you must refer I1. Why you must refer I2 here? Because we are now at loop I2. So for here, I2 entering undotted and here I1 entering dotted. So here is positive and negative, positive, negative, you got negative. Then equals to zero. Okay, this is the complete equation for loop I2. So this is VC, this is VD, and this is VB. Okay, the last question is to write the equation for Vx. Back to loop I1, uh, we already write the equation for this Vx. So here is Vx, J2 I1 plus M I1 minus I2, where M is J0.69. Okay, for next is method 2. Okay, now let's take a look at method 2 that I prefer this method compared to method 1. Okay, I start from negative 10 angle 0. Then I sum up all the impedance in this loop I1. So 5 plus J2 plus J6 current I1 minus the neighbor is J6 current I2. Okay, for couple, I determine either the loop is self-induced or mutually induced or both self and mutually induced. Okay, let's say for loop I1, for self, the voltage of that couple is because current I1. And for mutual, one of the voltage is because of another current, let's say I2. Okay, now look at here. For this loop, it is self-induced and also mutually induced. Why self? Because current I1 flowing through this J2 and J6. For mutual, current I2 is flowing through this J6. Okay, for self, current I1 flowing through this J2, induced voltage will be here. And current I1 flowing through this J6, induced voltage we add here. So that's why for self, I write 2 here. For mutual, this current I2 that flowing through this J6 is induced the voltage we add here. To determine the sign positive or negative, I just refer self. Why? Because I1 and I2 is opposite direction. So means that self and mutual also opposite. So for self, we refer I1 here and I1 here. So here is positive because dotted and here also dotted positive. So for self, positive and this is negative for mutual. So now insert to this equation. So plus self 2m i1 and minus the mutual is m i2. Then equals to zero. This m is mutual inductance that we got before is 0.69 j. Now let's take a look at loop I2. I just sum up all impedance in loop I2. So here is O minus J4 plus J6 current I2 minus the neighbor is J6 current I1. The couple for this loop is mutually induced. Why? Because the voltage here is induced by this current I1. So it is mutually induced, not self-induced. So equation for couple is M because of current I1. So now how to determine whether this is positive or negative? So for mutual, you must look at two different current of I2 and I1. Here you must look at I2 and here is I1. So for here, this is I2 entering undotted. So undotted for I2, this is negative. And for I1 is dotted, this is positive. So Negative, positive, we got negative. So, minus MI1, then equals to 0. Okay, this is the complete equation for loop I2. And replace this M by J0.69. Equation for Vx, Vx is across J2. So, Vx equals to J2 current I1. This J2 coupled with this J6. The current flowing through J6 is I1 and I2. So, in your equation, you must add M I1 and M I2. To determine either this is positive or negative, I just look at one side of self. Here is positive for dotted and also positive for dotted. I1 here, I1 here. So, I1 positive 
and automatic this is negative okay for this equation we add you can compare with loop i1 so here is j i2 m i1 positive here positive m i1 negative m i2 here is negative m i2 for these two don't add here because this two is for voltage here and voltage here okay that's for method two okay let's summarize first thing to do is you must get this m equals to k so l1 l2 and calculate it you get this j 0 0.69 ohms before loop i1 this equation is basic for mesh equation without couple and this part is equation for couple. For this couple, this is self and this is mutual. For this self, you are at loop 1, so because of current, I1. For mutual, you are at loop 1, so because of current, I2. To determine the sign positive or negative, I just refer this self. So for self, it is because of current I1 and also current I1. Here is dotted and also dotted so we got positive and automatic for mutual we got negative or we can check by looking both current of i1 and i2 so here is i1 dotted and here is i2 undotted so dotted undotted we get this negative so again for self we compare between same current and for mutual we compare between different current for loop i2 this is the basic part of mesh equation and this is for couple equation for loop i2 the couple only mutually induce why because the voltage here induced by this current i1 so it is mutually induced m i1 so for mutual if you add loop 2 so because of current i1 to determine the positive or negative sign we must look at two different current of i1 and i2 so here is i2 and here is i1 i1 is dotted i2 is undotted undotted dotted so you got negative and the last one for vx this j2 i1 for basic ohm's law and here is the couple for this couple this current couple of i1 and i2 induce the voltage vx so it is m i1 m i2 to determine the positive or negative sign i just look at this m i1 because this i2 will opposite to this i1 here i compare the same current of i1 so here is dotted and here also dotted so positive for m i1 automatic this one is negative or you can recheck by refer to i1 versus i2 here is i1 dotted and here is undotted undotted dotted so you get this negative okay that's all for this question